welcome on board the van for today's drive along here in Guernsey in the Channel Islands so I've got the camera mounted on the dashboard of my van and I'm going to record myself driving through St Peterport and down towards the coast we end up getting some fuel at the garage so if you're new to this channel this channel is dedicated to showing you what it's like to live on the island of Guernsey which is in the Channel Islands I do walk alongs and drive alongs so if you're interested in seeing more stuff about Guernsey similar to these videos consider subscribing and uh, if you do like this video you can give it a thumbs up right let's get on with the drive along so we are a Sunday afternoon uh, late afternoon and I'm just leaving the Crown Pier it's quite tight along here you can only park if you're a small car along these parts and um, it's quite tight in my van you'll hear my parking sensors going off because uh, I'm getting quite close to things so in today's video I want to just talk about the different things in Guernsey because driving in Guernsey is different compared to other places in the world we have probably a slow speed limit compared to a lot of places if you watched the channel before you'll be aware that the speed limit is 35 miles per hour which is probably different to a lot of places the speed limit can drop down to 15 miles per hour in some places as well by the way just on the left there they're going on a rib voyage out to sea you can see there's a bit of rain on the screen so now and again you'll see the windscreen wipers come on in my van and um, I hope it's not too annoying <laughs> they're only now and again they're not on all the time bit of a drizzly day here in Guernsey you'll probably see uh, different types of cars in Guernsey we don't tend to get really really big vehicles because they're just not practical to drive down the roads now um, something else I want to talk about is the size of the roads which is a bit different as well um, a lot of visitors to the island and a lot of people that aren't from the island always mention to me the narrow roads now for me obviously the narrow roads is very normal and if you live in Guernsey they become very normal uh, to someone else they may not be so it's something you need to be aware of when you're visiting the island the roads are very narrow not all of them uh, but there is some very very tight lanes in Guernsey where um, you it's impossible to pass two cars unless one of you pulls into a driveway and allows the other car to go past so it really does test your driving skills the road we're currently on um, is not bad at all but you'll find that we have a lot of one-way systems where um, you can only drive down nothing should be coming up but you'd, you always need to check nothing is coming up uh, you can't assume something isn't going to drive up the other way um, and also we have a lot of pavements that you sometimes may need to mount to get past now um, you shouldn't drive along the pavements if you do need to use the pavement obviously you've got to make very sure that the pavement is clear of pedestrians then you are you can pull onto the pavement and stop but you you don't want to drive along the pavement it's not safe so we're heading up St Julian's Avenue um, and this road is nice we've got cars parked on the right so this is this is a nice nice road to drive along round town the speed limits around 20 miles per hour or 25 miles per hour so the other thing to think about um, keeping on the theme of driving in Guernsey is different is the filter in turn systems um, I mention those quite a lot but they are, they do catch people out filter in si uh, turn system looks a bit like a box junction it's yellow box junction with crisscrosses and you filter in turn so one person goes and the next person goes and the next person goes you filter in and everyone has equal priority on the filters and you just need to make sure that there's enough room to get through the filter and you're not stuck in the middle of it up we go heading some traffic lights straight 
straight through, good. Um, also be aware if your tyres get quite a bit of wear and tear on them, your tyres on the road, if you are mounting kerbs up and down, um, you can burst a tyre, which I've done more than once. Uh, especially if you mount the kerb a bit unexpectedly or you're going a little bit fast. I did it in my wife's car, I mounted the kerb on a Fiat 500 and I blew the tyre which uh, is really annoying so I think you can take out tyre insurance actually if you're hiring a car it, it's maybe worthwhile doing something else in Guernsey which is really common is smashing your wing mirror off the side of your car now let me know in the comments if you've ever done that I'm sure you have I'm sure you have if you've driven in Guernsey because uh, it happens it happens now and again even if you're a good driver you'll get caught out and you'll clip your wing mirror over on a hedge or maybe something harder like a wall or even a car um, and you can smash the wing mirror off the side of your car or maybe the cover if you're lucky that doesn't crack your mirror there's a filter and turn system here so the boss goes then I go there you go there's one I was talking about before um, so the wing mirrors yes is a problem if you're driving a wide vehicle like me, my van, it, you know, you've got to be careful. But I've got power fold wing mirrors, which means that um, I press a button and they automatically fold in. And it has saved me a lot. A lot of the time. Very useful feature on my van, that. You'll also see on, uh, if you're coming out of a minor road onto a main road, we have the mirrors, the convex mirrors, which allow you to see traffic coming from somewhere from an angle you can't see. So a typical example would be you'd be on a yellow line and you have a mirror across the road showing you what's coming from the road you're turning onto. Um, the vehicle, the way they look on the mirrors, the distances can look a bit different. I can't think whether things look closer or further away, but it's one or the other. Uh, so you have to be careful about that when you're using the mirrors. So we're currently uh, going down the row haze. Let me know if you've got any stories about driving in Guernsey, any stories about blowing your tyres on the pavement or hitting your wing mirrors, leave them in the comments below. Love to read them. So I hope you're getting a bit of value from this video. Maybe if you're thinking about driving in Guernsey, um, it just gives you an idea of what the roads look like and a few little tips as we drive along. I have got a whole playlist dedicated to Guernsey drive alongs so if you want to see videos similar to this one have a look on the channel I've got over a hundred videos all about drive alongs in different places in the island it give you a really good idea of what it's like driving here so the speed limit is back to 35 So the drizzle is quite thick. It's one of those bit like the drizzle that soaks you through. Wasn't that nice today? Passing St. Pierre Park Hotel on the left. So remember if you are enjoying the video, you can let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Always appreciate seeing comments and thumbs up on the videos. And, uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed, you can think about it. It helps my channel a little bit if you subscribe. Well, certainly if you want to, that is. I'm not forcing you to. <laughs> Do what you like. Now, we're heading to some traffic lights. And we've got some road closures, actually. But I can go through this bit here. It's a bit further along. The road's closed. And also, someone mentioned on the last video, and I, it was normal for me, but maybe not normal for other people. As you're approaching a yellow line, um, you normally see there's a yellow arrow painted on the road, pointing towards the yellow line. It's a little bit before the yellow line, you'll see it on the road. I'll see if I can show you one. But anyway, if you see a yellow arrow pointing in the direction you're driving, that is warning you there's a yellow line coming up now I didn't know that I thought that was sort of most places in the in the world but apparently uh, people 
don't recognize it so I assume it may be just something in Guernsey I'm not sure so if you ever see a yellow yellow arrow on the road it'll be pointing in the direction you're driving it's telling you there's a yellow line coming up which you need to stop at and straight on here now it's saying the road ahead is closed but I'm not going down that road, I'm actually doing a little bit of it and I'm turning into the garage here. Lomont garage. Uh, petrol station, should I say. And I'm going to get some fuel, so I'll just show you in here. Find a free petrol pump. This is Lowmore Petrol Station. They got a shop here as well, which you can buy loads of stuff. They got a co-op. And there we go. Well, thanks for watching. Click the screen to watch the next video. And if you are interested in seeing more, remember to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.